You know the age-old saying, what happens underneath determines what's on top. And there's no better example to illustrate this than beautiful bonsais. Now, I'm no guru at bonsais. So to help me along my way, I've got Martin Mini with me, a bonsai guru expert. He's going to say no to all of the things that I'm busy saying about him, um, but highly respected in the bonsai world. Now, Martin, I know one thing with bonsais, what I do know about them, is about the soil mixes. And I believe there are hundreds of different mixes out there. and Everybody tries something different. There's not enough tea in China to talk about soil mixtures. Um, everybody, everyone has got his own mixture. Your previous soil mix had five or six ingredients, yes. is that correct? <clears throat> correct. And now you've been experimenting with pumice and akadama. Yes. Now listen, I, I know that the, the Japanese gurus have been using this for hundreds of years and you've had some experience in this. It just makes things so much easier. And I think one of the interesting parts, and, and this is what, I mean, it blows my mind completely about the, the, the pumice, is that it never breaks down. It never breaks down, it's, it's a volcanic rock. Because it never breaks down, you've always got these beautiful air pockets, which I can only Correct. imagine in a small pot like that is only going to bid well for, for the root development. Very much so. Mm. Your plant needs food, a soil and oxygen. Mm. And this keeps the oxygen down there or the air down there to give the roots a more vigorous growth and your ramification in your roots is so much better. The other thing that, uh, that I found when I've been playing around, and, and this is the, the, the Akadama, which of course you can break down, but it takes a while still. Hey? It takes two to three years, um, okay. depending on how much you water. But I do like the fact that it holds water. It holds the water and releases that slowly back into the roots. Your tree is not sitting and drowning. Okay. So what have, what have you been working with that okay. you're happiest with? I'm happiest with, I take one part pumice. Right. An equal part pine bark which is um, a five to seven mil pine bark that I've sifted out the fines. And then I take one pot, Akadama. That should be enough for the tree that we're gonna do today. And just, just give it a good mix. Um, Tanya, as you can see, this you cannot compact. Um, uh, beautiful. And so yes. for root development, it's gonna be easy. Exactly. The fine root hairs, the new roots are gonna work their way through this without any trouble at all. So we're going to take this out, wash the roots off, clear them up, and then put them into, into this lovely mix. Let's see what the roots look like. Ah, oh, but look, Martin, look look at that. Yes. That's, that's compacted. Very much compacted. And chalk and cheese in, in mixtures. Exactly. You're just going to remove the soil. Quite vicious with this plant, eh? Uh, are we all too gentle, Martin? Yes. Really? Um, they plants in pots. I'm gently going to wash all the soil off these roots. Very good root system. Very good root system. But because it's going into a shallower pot, I'm going to remove some of these thick roots. It's slightly over potted, but because it's still in training, I need a little bit more, more soil for vigorous growth. Right. And I'm going to get it with this product. Okay. So you're filling it up about third judge, of the way. Judge it by its roots, that's too deep. Right. So I'm going to put a, a little bit more in there. Okay. But and he's just, he's just more. you off-centering him off there a bit. A little bit off-center. That'll be the back of the tree. This will be the front of the tree. It's heavier at the back than okay. in the front. You can see into it from this is side. Is that your standard rule? Standard rule. A tree okay. has got a front and a back. Okay, now we'll just fill it around the top. Mm -hmm. And remember now, those roots are all in a pile now. There's no soil in between those roots. Mm, mm. So we'll just take a little poker stick mm -hmm. and just slowly, gently work your, your soil. So you're just you're feeding it in between in those between roots those now. In between those fine roots. And you'll, you see it's actually dropping a little. You'll see that it, it will drop, yes. Right. My first watering of a bonsai after I've repotted it, I, I submerge it in the water. I dunk it. Okay. Um, just to make sure that the water get, gets in you can see now. Oh, you see there? Yes. See the pumice is floating. It's floating, it's light. And you only have to do this once, Martin, and then only you can once, presume. And then, then you resume with your normal watering. If I lift this out now, you'll let's see. see. Let's see, let's see. Perfect. I mean, that is good drainage. I now let the tree settle. 
right. and then I'll feed according to prescribed. There is something to be said about that with, with many a plant, that already it's gone through a bit of shock. Correct. You know, so don't now overwhelm want... me now. Yeah. And you use um, organic plant-based foods? Organic food? plant-based foods on only, yes. Right. I water my trees every two to three days and I'm still experimenting with this product. At the moment, I'm not differing my water intervals. And what I, what I like room. about the, the Akadama is that its colour changes. Yes. And if we put this guy next to that guy, and you, you can see... This guy's been watered. Yeah, he's, it's, he's it's dark. It's darker, and, yes. But there's no chance that we'll overwater. No. <laughs> I don't think so. In my, in my experiment, I haven't been able to overwater. We've got lightness. Yes. In terms of weight of carrying. We've got great aeration. Great. Which means you're going to get good cation exchange capacity. Plus you've got some mineral content from the Akadama and the pumice. Mineral content from the mm. Akadama and pine mm. bark. Mm. And your pumice is it's just a filler to keep moisture and aeration. Well, that wasn't as difficult as I thought. You've kind of made me a bit calmer about this whole thing. But Martin, um, thank you for your time and thank you for the lesson. You're welcome. Um, and I'm very excited to see future experiments, future use of this Akadama and pumice. And uh, I think our paths are going to cross a lot more in this pumice Akadama journey. Very much so. When I give you your first tree. Yeah. Well, that certainly was my first masterclass in bonsai repotting, where Martin has shown me from six ingredients to get down to simply three. Really my kind of game. Keep it simple. Akadam and Pumice are available from your local garden centre, leading hardware stores and distributed by Fragrant.